In the Arctic, failure is rarely dramatic. It happens quietly. A machine slows, then stops, and the environment finishes the job. Engines lock solid, drivetrains disappear into snow that was never truly ground. Vehicles worth millions are abandoned because ice shifts, swamps breathe, and nothing stays firm for long. Out here, raw horsepower means very little. Yet some machines continue forward, not because they are the most advanced or the most aggressive, but because they were engineered for a world without roads, recovery crews, or second chances. Today, we are counting down 10 Arctic snow vehicles designed to traverse deep powder, unstable ice, frozen wetlands, and even open water, terrain where most machines simply vanish. These are not upgrades or evolutions, they are survivors. And by the end, one reality is unmistakable. The Arctic does not reward strength, it rewards machines that understand where they are. Kamaz Arctica, the Tundra Strider. The Arctic does not support weight, it tolerates it. That reality is what shaped the Kamaz Arctica, an experimental low-pressure vehicle built for terrain that collapses under conventional machines. Designed to operate across tundra, deep snow, and unstable permafrost, it moves where traditional trucks either scar the land or disappear into it. Its most defining feature is its enormous low-pressure tires, engineered to distribute mass so effectively that ground pressure is lower than that of a person walking. An articulated chassis allows the vehicle to flex and follow the terrain, keeping all wheels planted as the surface shifts beneath it. Rather than cutting into the landscape, the Arctica floats across it, preserving traction while minimizing environmental impact. A cold-optimized diesel engine prioritizes reliability and range over speed, enabling long-distance travel far beyond any road network. Capable of transporting cargo and crews into regions with no infrastructure and no recovery options, the Kamaz Arctica is not a mass-produced work vehicle. It is a testbed vision of Arctic mobility, where success depends not on conquering the environment, but on disturbing it as little as possible while moving through it. Torsus Praetorian, the unstoppable off-road bus. Some vehicles move supplies, others move people into places maps barely acknowledge. The Torsus Praetorian was built for the latter as an extreme off-road passenger vehicle designed to operate where pavement ends and conventional buses never belong. Constructed on a heavy-duty MAN 4x4 or 6x6 platform, the Praetorian pairs a military-grade drivetrain with a purpose-reinforced passenger shell. Exceptional ground clearance, locking differentials, and long travel suspension allow it to push through snow, mud, sand, and destroyed tracks while maintaining stability even at full capacity. Its diesel powertrain favors consistent torque and precise control over outright speed, keeping movement deliberate and predictable in hostile terrain. Inside, the focus shifts from mobility to survival. The cabin is insulated, climate-controlled, and configured for extended operations far from infrastructure. Whether supporting polar expeditions, mining sites, disaster zones, or Arctic transport routes, the Praetorian functions as a self-contained transport solution. Brutal in appearance and strictly utilitarian, it feels less like a bus and more like a rolling base of operations. The Torsus Praetorian delivers a simple message. When roads disappear, engineering does not retreat, it evolves. Windsled, the wind-powered Arctic transport. In the polar regions, fuel is fragile, the wind is constant. The windsled was created around that distinction as an unconventional Arctic transport system that abandons engines entirely and relies on traction kites to convert relentless polar winds into forward motion. Designed for extended expeditions across open snowfields, the wind sled rides on skis, allowing it to carry substantial cargo loads with minimal resistance. 
With no engine, gearbox, or fuel system to fail, mechanical vulnerability is drastically reduced, making the platform exceptionally dependable in temperatures where traditional vehicles seize and shut down. Direction and speed are managed through precise kite control, enabling steady progress and, under the right conditions, impressive transit speeds across uneven terrain. Its near-silent operation and zero emissions make it particularly well-suited for scientific missions and environmentally sensitive research zones. The wind sled does not attempt to overpower the Arctic, it aligns itself with it transforming one of the region's harshest forces into a reliable means of movement. In doing so, it demonstrates that true innovation sometimes lies in removing complexity rather than adding to it. Burlak Amphibious Vehicle, the Arctic All-in-One. In the Arctic, success is not measured by arrival time, it is measured by whether you can remain operational once you arrive. That principle defines the Burlak, an expedition vehicle developed in Russia for sustained travel and survival in extreme polar environments. Built as a fully amphibious low-pressure platform, the Burlak moves effortlessly across deep snow, tundra, and swamp on oversized tires that distribute weight to prevent sinking. Its sealed hull allows it to transition seamlessly from land to water, crossing rivers, lakes, and flooded terrain without external support. Where terrain shifts constantly, the burlap adapts without stopping. What truly sets it apart is its role beyond transportation. The interior is configured as a self-contained living module, complete with sleeping quarters, heating, storage, and cooking facilities. Crews can operate for weeks in complete isolation, independent of roads, resupply, or rescue. Mechanically straightforward and engineered for reliable cold starts, the Burlak favors endurance and dependability over speed or brute force. It does not merely travel through the Arctic, it is designed to exist within it. Lesnik the smallest Arctic workhorse. The Lesnik is incredibly compact. It fits in a standard garage, can be towed by a light pickup, and weighs under 800 kilograms. Built in Russia in the early 2000s, it was designed for forest rangers, hunters, and off-grid travel where even motorcycles struggle. Powered by a small two-cylinder diesel, it relies on low-weight, four-wheel drive in low-pressure tires rather than power. The cabin fits two people, with a rear bed that can carry gear, fuel, or camping equipment. Simple controls and minimal electronics keep it reliable in harsh conditions. Its narrow width lets it slip through tight forest trails and cross thin ice that heavier vehicles cannot. The Lesnik proves that in the Arctic, smaller can often go farther. Avteros Shaman, the 8x8 Extreme Terrain Master. Some vehicles adjust to difficult ground. The Avteros Shaman is built for places where the ground barely matters at all. Developed in Russia, this 8x8 amphibious all-terrain vehicle is designed to move through snow, swamps, sand, broken ice, and open water without changing pace or character. Its oversized, low-pressure tires spread the vehicle's weight so effectively that it rides over soft surfaces instead of sinking into them. An articulated steering system allows the Shaman to turn sharply despite its size, giving it control in tight or uneven terrain where traditional trucks would be immobilized. When land disappears entirely, the sealed body keeps it afloat, with the wheels acting as simple, reliable propulsion in water. The enclosed cabin is built for long operations in isolation, offering space for passengers, cargo, or expedition equipment. Insulation and heating systems keep it functional in deep Arctic cold. The Avteros Shaman does not rely on speed or force. It moves steadily, crossing environments that turn ordinary terrain into a test of survival and passing through without hesitation. Nodwell 110, the Arctic Workhorse. 
Long before Arctic vehicles relied on sensors and software, survival depended on machines that were simple, heavy, and nearly impossible to stop. The Nodwell 110 represents that era. Developed in Canada, this tracked, all-terrain vehicle was built specifically for snow, muskeg, ice, and tundra terrain, where wheeled vehicles consistently fail. Its wide steel tracks distribute weight across a large surface area, reducing ground pressure and maintaining traction on soft or shifting ground. The engineering is deliberately uncomplicated. A robust diesel engine, fully mechanical drivetrain, and minimal electronics make the 110 dependable in extreme cold, where modern systems often become liabilities. Field repairs are straightforward, even in locations far beyond any support network. For decades, the Nodwell 110 has supported Arctic logistics, mining operations, oil exploration, research stations, and remote transport missions. It carries people and supplies into regions with no roads, no infrastructure, and no margin for error. It is not fast, and it offers little comfort, but the Nodwell 110 delivers something more valuable than both. It keeps moving when everything else cannot. Bombardier B-12 Snowbus, the Polar People Mover. Before modern Arctic transport systems, there was a vehicle built with a clear and practical purpose, carry people across snow when no other transport could function. The Bombardier B-12 Snowbus, developed in Canada, was a tracked passenger vehicle designed for deep snow, frozen ground, and winter routes that vanished for months each year. Its wide tracks and low ground pressure allowed it to move where wheeled buses, trucks, and cars were completely ineffective. The mechanical design was intentionally simple, powered by a dependable engine and built for steady, predictable operation rather than speed. In polar environments, reliability mattered more than arrival time. The enclosed, heated cabin provided safe transport for workers, researchers, and residents traveling between remote communities, mining operations, and seasonal camps. In extreme cold, the B-12 functioned as both transportation and shelter. It was not built for exploration or extremes, it was built for continuity. In regions cut off by winter, the Bombardier B-12 became a lifeline keeping people connected when snow erased every other option. Vityaz DT-30, the Arctic Landship. In the Arctic, most vehicles travel over the surface. The Vityaz DT-30 operates as if the surface is optional. Often called a landship, this massive, articulated tracked vehicle was engineered for environments where snow, ice, tundra, and frozen waterways blur into one unstable expanse. The DT-30 is made up of two enormous tracked units joined by a heavy articulation joint, allowing it to flex and follow the terrain beneath it. This design keeps continuous traction across pressure ridges, uneven ice, and deep snow. Its exceptionally wide tracks spread the vehicle's weight so efficiently that ground pressure is lower than a human footprint, allowing it to cross fragile surfaces without breaking through. Powered by a heavy-duty diesel engine built for extreme cold, the Vityaz DT-30 can haul up to 30 tons of cargo. It is also fully amphibious, floating across rivers and lakes while its tracks provide steady propulsion. Used for military supply, Arctic construction, and remote resupply missions, the Vityaz DT-30 is not fast and it is not refined, but in environments where stopping is not an option, it delivers the one thing that matters most. It keeps moving. Thiokol IMP-1404, the compact snow legend. To understand this machine, you have to go back to the 1970s when reliability mattered more than refinement. The Thiokol IMP-1404 was introduced in 1973 as a compact alternative to oversized snowcats, offering serious capability in a much smaller, more manageable package. Built in the United States by Thiokol, the same company behind NASA's solid rocket boosters, it carried that same emphasis on robust engineering. 
Visually, it resembled a miniature bulldozer wrapped in a snow buggy body, but its performance far exceeded its size. Smaller than a modern SUV, the IMP-1404 was powered by a Ford industrial four-cylinder engine that delivered strong low-end torque through a simple, low-range mechanical drivetrain. Despite weighing just over a metric ton, it could tow and haul loads approaching twice its own weight, making it exceptionally useful in remote environments. The cabin was basic and functional, seating two with space for tools and survival gear. With no conventional suspension, the track tension and lightweight design allowed it to glide smoothly over deep snow. Low maintenance requirements made it ideal for isolated operations, and it saw widespread use by forest services, emergency crews, and backcountry workers. Its reputation for reliability became legendary, even earning roles in extreme film shoots where helicopters could not operate. The IMP-1404 may look small, but in the snow, it consistently performed far beyond its scale.